Planet Krell. Your next assignment is to attempt to duplicate the mule life form and reseed this planet. You'll be required to build a gene pod and some mules. Move the mules to the marked zone to show the ethereals we mean well. You got it. To the far reaches of space. Hiya. Let's start building our extractor, shall we? We need to get our economy established. You got it. Yes. Let's move our geneticist right to zone. And we'll have our new botanist who plants forests, harvests seeds, and studies the demands of different plant species for more efficient farming. To start planting some terrarium bolts, which are good for planting on grassy surfaces and are ideal for the early, early botanist. Let's see if we could find a mule by itself. No, I don't want to don't want to take right on two. That's a lot of mules. Right away. Totally built that thing. Let's build the extractor. Energy uh, required. You got sorry, it. the uh, power distributor. This foundation's gonna be great. Right away. As you can see over there, right there is away. the mule zone. I'll click right on it in a moment. Right away. See if I'm just trying to find a straggler mule. Hey, there's, there's one. I'm gonna micro our botanist a bit to spread out this plant forest as much as possible. Let's build that have left now. photon processor. Yes. Starting my studies. Starting my studies. Good. Good work, John. You wanted to keep stunning it, though. Starting my studies. And because we're all nice to animals, we can't actually kill them. We just have to keep stunning them until they die of old age. So, isn't that nice? Let's build a gene pod. It enables the breeding of basic, uh, pure breed creatures from group, and allows structure research levels of up to 50%. Uh, I believe here will do. If you're wondering what goop is, this is goop here. The ethereals have arrived. Gene pod's almost finished constructed. Let's build some mules. Give us some power. Thank you. This should be enough mules. As you can see, this is the mule zone. Gather as many mules as you can here for an extra ethereal score. Wait for the ethereals to arrive and watch the score rama increase. Our mules are now on their way. Hopefully they'll get there in time. We'll see. Oh, nope, too late. Well, oh, back to the forests. How about they don't die of starvation? Immediately. Hope you're out of seeds. The ethereals have left now. Let's gather these seeds here of this new plant. Yes. Hiya. We can control our animals directly. They should be able to engage this enemy mule quite satisfactorily. Thank you, Matt. This is the Arid Bloom. The Arid Bloom is a hardy plant that prefers dry, arid growing conditions. As you can see, these are grassy areas instead. Let's bring out the geneticist. Our mules are slowly dying. Yes. Right away. Right away. Heal them up. Have arrived. Right Good work, away. John. They're all nice and right healed away. up. Right away. Let's produce some additional mules. Here we go. Right away. As you can see, yes. the mules are doing alright. Well, this one's about to die, actually, so heal it up. Thank you, John. Level is complete because we've reached the sufficient score, but let's wait for the mule zone to be depleted. No, oh, it's not going to be depleted this time. Oh, we've earned enough score for them to be satisfied. Our plants have done good work. The ethereals have left now.
You have done well by bringing animate life to this world. The Ethereals are pleased with your growing population. Keep going. You are shaping the biospheres of other worlds and it is surely vital work. We gave birth to seven creatures and we reached the required score of 1252. At any rate, thank you for watching. See us back next time for Mission 3 of Gene Wars right here at Conflux Games.